I am starting uh, this car vlog with an intro before the intro you're about to see because it just dawned on me that I never showed you my thrift store shirts. So just watch the whole video and then I'm just letting you know that I'm going to show you the shirts at the end of this video. So stay till the end. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I'm feeling much better. I think I can use the word much to describe how I feel. <laughs> I still have head shit going on, but I was able to go out today. I went to the thrift store. I don't feel like completely exhausted. I think that I danced so much last night that I just sweated the illness out of me. <laughs> it was so hot. It was so hot at Neil's. It's hot at Neil's. And Jeannie and I danced almost all night. I mean, just the songs that we either had to rest, you know, take a break to rest or, you know, slow songs or something. But we danced and danced and danced and it was so hot. Uh, normally when I dance a lot, just my head gets wet, but I was fucking drenched. I mean, we were both, we were drenched. It was so hot. <laughs> but yeah, my hair was soaking wet. I ended up just like combing it all back and behind my ears because it was so, so wet. And at one point we went outside and a man asked if I was okay. I and mean, he was seriously concerned because he, he thought that I was, you know, in need of an ambulance ride to the hospital because of how drenched I was. And we were laughing and I was like, no, GD, tell him, tell him this is how I always look after dancing. Uh, so, um, yeah, but, and it was hot out. I would go outside a little bit, but it was so humid that, you know, and it was just dead air. I was just, ugh, I didn't like it. So I would go back into Neil's and they had some big fans and I would stand in front of, you know, these gigantic fans just to cool off and try to dry off my hair a little bit. And, but it was, it was a fun night. And I thought, how am I going to feel in the morning after all that dancing but I woke up fairly early I stayed in bed till like maybe one I just get caught up on emails and comments and things like that so I just laid in bed all all morning and I thought I'm going to go to the thrift store so I got up and Derek could not go out with us last night because he had uh, earaches, both ears, and so he went to the doctor today. See, I don't have earaches. I just have congestion going on. Um, but he had earaches, and uh, he has ear infections. So that wasn't cool. So he went, you know, like I said, he went to the doctor today because he knew he has ear infections every now and then. I'm not an ear infection kind of person. I do remember having, like, an ear infection in my 20s. It fucking hurt. I remember that. I felt like something sharp was stabbing in my ear. But that's not what I have going on. It's just a sinus thing, and it's going away. I'm still going to take it, well, take it easy. I certainly didn't take it easy last night. <laughs> I danced all night. And we're going out again tonight. And we um, were going to Hadley's to see Basket Case, but they canceled. So now we're going to Sidecar South Haven. Go, go, go see us there. I don't even know what the date is. The 29th. It's July 29. This is 2023. They start at 8. 8 to midnight. Yes, all of a sudden that didn't sound right. Um, sidecar South Haven. Not Memphis. South Haven. And uh, so we're going there to see 901 Rocks. We love them. And uh, I'm so glad I get to go to Sidecar South Haven tonight is just, a, you know, a very quick ride. And Jeannie lives in South Haven, so I still will be picking her up, picking her up. I'm going to South Haven Sidecar, have fun dancing, and then go home and, um, you know, be home early because it ends at midnight, not 1 a.m., and I'm only 15 minutes away from home. So it's going to be a good night, I do believe. I just got back from the thrift store. Did I mention that already? I thought I said that I was going to go to the thrift store, and I did. And um, I saw a thrifty guy. I actually let him know I was going. Haven't seen him for a few days, and I know I can't remember where I left off with him. And uh, I know that I told you guys that thrifty guy is the same as travel man, and uh, I do believe I might have ended it with, you know, things weren't going smooth. Well, what it is is, yeah, it, it, drinking gets in the in the way. 
right? Okay, but um, a not drinking thrifty guy is just as sweet as can be, and I enjoy hanging out with him here and there when I can. So I let him know that I was going to be at the thrift store, and he came in to see me, and um, yeah. So there is that, and I think that uh, it's okay to call him by name. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how long he'll be in my life. I, you know, I, I never know anything, but I do like him as a friend. As long as things are nice and smooth, smooth sailing, you know, that makes it nice. And uh, it, we do have fun together. We have, like, just watched TV together and things like that. And I enjoy that. Um, so it does, it gives me a friend. And I just need to, you know, stay clear and not bother, you know, being around him if, if he's uh, drinking too much. I don't care if he has a a couple of beers, but I just don't want to be around. I don't want to be around uh, someone when they're to the point of, you know, just being drunk <laughs> or buzzed to that extent. And somebody asked me, do I mind if my girlfriends drink? And the answer is no, because I'm not going home with them, right? <laughs> Ever, you know? So, um, you know, do I like to tolerate drunk people? I mean, if I had my choice, I wouldn't have to be around that at all. But my friends, you know, we, we go out there to dance. We go out to dance, and, and that's what we're doing. And they drink. Um, so, and I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me, you know. And uh, so I still just drink my water. I love my water. With salt now. Did I tell you guys that? Um, Jeannie will drink margaritas, and I used to love the salt on margaritas uh, on the glass, and it dawned on me one night, I was like, gee, I could have salt just with my water. But without me knowing, she actually ordered me a water in a margarita glass with salt on the rim, and it was so fucking good. It was so good, even with just water. Oh, and I do have a piece of lime, so I can squirt, and I actually like squirted the lime like on the rim a little bit, so when I would sip, I would have the, the lime salt. It was so good. But I told her, I said, I can't be drinking this <laughs> in the bars because anybody who sees that will think I'm drinking margaritas, and I don't need any rumors started. Uh, it's enough that people think that I'm drinking, <sighs> even though I'm not. Um, you know, I just don't need somebody saying, oh my God, Darlene's got a margarita. So what I do is, I have I have it right here. I bring it with me every time I go out. I have a little container with uh, coarse salt. There's my little container. And uh, I, I just love it. And I don't get salt because I don't, you know, I, I, I sprinkle a little bit of salt on my meat, but I'm not eating anything salty. I'm eating meat and butter. I do have salt, salted butter. That's still not a lot. So I just have like a little bit of coarse salt like that. And while I'm drinking it, I just wet my finger. Mmm. Take a sip of water. Sometimes I'll bite on the lime. It's all very good. So I have my salt with me all the time. All right, so last night we went out. Uh, today I saw Thrifty Guy. Did I say that I can call him by name Don? His name is Don. So we're just going to go with Don for Thrifty Guy. And um, and we have a name for New Guy. Um, uh, it's a couple of people suggested either Porch Man or Porch Guy. I like Porch Man so <laughs> because I met him on a porch. And I do want to say I deleted a lot of comments from uh, last night's video because... People are just, it just drives me nuts that people think that uh, any woman, any woman beyond the age of, I don't know, 20, are you smart enough at the age of 20? I'm almost 63. Nobody needs to tell me to be careful. <laughs> and um, you know that I'm not the type to live life in fear. We can't do that or there would be no life. So I did forget to say it out loud. I know some people just watch my videos. I mean, they just listen to my videos. They're not watching. And I was trying to let you guys know that I was being safe, that I felt safe. I was being careful. And I did add it as a caption. But if you're not watching the video, you're not going to see that. But I had mentioned that when I saw, uh, when I met Porchman, 
that um, first I found him on a dating site, but he hadn't been active for a bit. So then I noticed he had an actual name as a profile name. So I looked that up and I found him on Facebook. On Facebook, I found his phone number. I called, I texted, texted him and explained what I had just done and that I, you know, saw him on the dating site and just asked, you know, for him to reply if this is still his number. So that's how we met. Uh, that's how we connected uh, through texting, immediately through texting, because that's how I contacted him. And we chatted uh, for a few days, I do believe. I mean, I could look up the conversation, but, you know, it was a few days. And then I had mentioned to him that I was going to South Haven, that I do that often, and we could meet one time. During the conversations we had, I know that he had sat on the porch a few times. One time was like in the middle of the night, and I was like, I would love to sit on the porch in the middle of the night. It just sounds so cool. <laughs> Um, I grew up with a porch uh, on, on my house, and I, I loved the porch. It's where I used to go read to escape when I was a kid. Um, so uh, he agreed, yes, we could meet, and we met that day that I texted him that I was on my way to the thrift store. And, um, you know, I had said you know, we could just, you know, sit on the porch or whatever. Uh, and then when I got there, it was, it was hot. It was hot out. Surprise, surprise. So he said we could go in, and I we went in. And I wasn't afraid because I mentioned that there were roofers working on a house across the street. He had a teenage nephew that was going to be there. He was doing some yard work or something. So, yeah, that's not scary. You know, not everybody's a fucking serial killer or a rapist or even your average murderer. <laughs> you know? it's not, not everybody. Not everybody. We can't be in fear like that. It was comfortable. I was comfortable. I felt safe. It was daytime. Uh, it, it wasn't going to be hard for me to just jump off the couch and run out the door if he decided to be a maniac. You know? <laughs> it was all good, people. All good. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm in fear for my life every time I get into my car and get on the highway here. That, that's the scary thing to me, but I still do it. Because again, what am I going to do? Just never go out? Somebody's walking around behind me. So, you know, and there are, you know, people who are happily married for 20 years and then out of the blue their husband kills, kills them, you know, husband kills the wife for whatever reason. <laughs> you know, or men kill their wives because they're pregnant again and they don't want another kid. I want to just fucking kill my wife. <laughs> it's been a nice marriage up until now, but I don't want another kid. So I'm going to have to kill, kill my wife and the kid. That happens often. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't scared at all. Okay, so because we met on the porch, some people had the idea of porch man or porch guy. We're going with porch man. And I don't know, again, him too. I don't know how long he'll be in the picture, but that's, that's the name we're giving him. And uh, I do think that we will be able to hang out uh, at some point. And, and that'll be cool, right? That'll be cool, I think. The other thing that drives me crazy is how many women say that there's nobody out there, there are no good guys. And I know it feels that way. Or especially the ones who say, oh, I tried the dating sites, those sucked, I gave up on that really quick. And, you know, you, you, nobody has to be looking for a, a man. And I'm speaking in you know, in terms of fighting a man, because I'm a woman who happens to like men. Um, it goes both ways. If you're a guy for a girl, or a girl for a girl, guy for guy, I don't, I don't care what, what the combination is. Um, it can suck. It sucks in a lot of ways. Um, and I've seen dark sides of some of the people that I've met, you know, and even the ones that you don't hear about, that I didn't, I didn't actually meet them. I'm gonna pretty much always tell you if I meet somebody in person, but a lot of the men that I chat with, some can be instantly rude, um, you know, just, you know, just disgustingly rude. Uh, you know, some are just plain boring. I mean, there's just a lot of communication there that are, that's not fun, right? But I'm not going to say that there's nobody out there because, of course, there is. Of course, there is. You know how many people there are in this world? And I'm out there. I'm on the sites. Whenever somebody says, oh, there's nobody good on dating sites, well, I'm there. I'd like to consider myself at least a decent person. 
not a horrible catch, you know, who could uh, have similar likes and interests as someone else. You know, that's all it really takes. It doesn't matter what you like. It just matters if you find somebody who has some of the same interests, and then it's cool to have some different interests. If you're people who like to be interested in other things, you get to learn something new, right? So uh, it's very discouraging for other people to hear that because they think, oh, well, I can't go on dating sites because everybody says that it, it all sucks. And it doesn't. There is sucky stuff. But you have to just go through those sucky ones and say, okay, um, nine out of ten were terrible. Maybe this one <laughs> will be the good one, you know, that you'll actually get to meet. And that is always my goal. If I chat with someone, my goal is to meet them if I'm at all interested. If I know I'm not interested, I'm not all gung-ho on just meeting guys for the hell of it. But I meet right away. Oh, and somebody said that that was like, I don't remember the exact words, and I deleted the comment, but uh, like, not that I was moving too fast. Um, I was being too forward, I think. You have to remember that, um, and I, she was specifically talking about about porch man uh, because you know contacted and then all of a sudden I'm meeting him at his place like I'm being too forward you have to remember that I found him on a dating site a dating site where both parties are supposed to be interested in meeting and possibly dating right I'm like I said almost 63 you think I'm gonna sit there and twiddle my thumbs no I thought he was nice looking, I liked his profile, and I was like, huh, a name, huh, he's real, it's on Facebook, huh, a phone number, huh, again, he's real, but then in the back of my head I'm always thinking somebody could have just, you know, stolen all that information, and that's why I want to meet them, I want to meet them, to make sure that they are real, and, and he's real, he's the real, the real guy from the dating site, it's not being forward, it's doing my fucking job, <laughs> I'm out to meet guys, so I'm going to do that. I don't understand. Um, and then, uh, yes, oh, and then, oh, yeah, and since I got this comment that said something again, I deleted it along the lines of, why are you so, oh, I love you, Darlene, but you're uh, crabby to your audience, something like that. And I replied saying something like, what the flying fuck are you talking about? <laughs> See, I, I was, I thought that was funny because she said I was crabby, so I, I snapped back in what I thought was a funny way, and I guess people don't always take it funny. So she replied uh, just recently with, um, yeah, like that, like I mean like that or something like that, and I thought she didn't get the fucking humor <laughs> that I was saying that on purpose because she accused me of being crabby. I guess I should have ended with LOL. That fucking LOL is important sometimes. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. She didn't get the joke. She didn't get the humor in that. Um, and I know it sounds crabby when people are saying things, uh, you know, like, I hate it when, you know, my, uh, I get comments like this or I hate it when people say this. But it, it's irritating. It's at the at the very least, it's irritating at times, and it's not just me. I just watched a woman who uh, on TikTok who had the longest, biggest eyelashes I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know where you get fake eyelashes like that that are not quite Halloween. You know what I mean? They're they they looked nice. They looked real. They weren't like plastic eyelashes, like I said for Halloween. But I thought, those are the biggest fucking lashes I've ever seen. And didn't even dawn on me that if I went to the comments, there would be people complaining about those eyelashes. But yeah, when I went to the comments, because um, I love comments on TikTok. <laughs> They're so funny, some of them. People were bashing her for her eyelashes. And she did another whole video, and she was like practically in tears. And it's like, it's like I say, she said the same thing. She said, never in my life have I ever thought of going, you know, onto somebody's platform and telling them 
that they look bad or they shouldn't be wearing this you know like some were trying to be nice by saying it would look better if you just had your natural lashes that's just saying your fucking lashes look stupid and we hate them you know and uh, and I was like yeah and that's what happens to me often especially with my hair I should go get a haircut somebody who knows what they're doing and you say that to a person who takes pride in the way I fucking cut my hair crooked on purpose love it layered flicky flicky shit going on so that when I feel like turning my head upside down and drying my hair upside down I end up with a hairdo I fucking like even though it doesn't last long because I dance and it gets all flat You don't know what you do to people when you say things. And somebody uh, picked on me, and I'm going to call it picking on me because it's not necessary. Somebody was telling me, now that I've lost weight, uh, she would like to see me. And she said a couple of things, pastel colors and a sundress. And I was like, fuck that shit, fuck a sundress. I know I said that. And then a couple of other people didn't like that I said that. And I thought, it's no different than, like I said, when, you know, you're walking out of your room and you have, you're dressed up nice and you have a narcissistic mother who says, oh, you would look really good if you didn't have those shoes on or something like that. You don't need to fucking tell somebody what they could be wearing because it makes the person feel like what they're wearing right now isn't good enough. I don't need to be told to wear a fucking pastel sundress. Do you think I'm the pastel sundress type? Type. Huh? Huh? No, not. But it doesn't matter if I am or not. I just don't understand why people. Uh, I would like to see you in a sundress. I'd like to see you in combat boots and a fucking tiara. I mean, what are you? Doing? It's like, what is. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, don't, I just don't get it. Uh, I don't. So those are my little things. So I did delete a lot of comments. I didn't let a lot of, uh, a lot of comments did not get through, I should say, because I still review them all. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um, I'm looking at a list. I have a list. And I covered everything on my list. And now I'm just anxious to go out tonight. And I'd like to go out tomorrow, too, to Hadley's for Sunday Fun Day looks like a band that I would like I haven't seen them I don't think Jeannie will go out again uh, I don't know if I want to go alone I could I could possibly if I just feel like taking the ride and uh, hang out there for a little bit and then go home but um, all right you guys uh, I didn't get to go out last Sunday because I was sick too sick I think that's it that's all I want to say and uh, um, so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. All right. I'm here now to show you the shirts that I just forgot to show you. <laughs> I love this one. And this is typical of the type of shirt that I told you I like to wear when I go out dancing. It's got the uh, buttons. And I don't know what you're seeing because I've changed position and now all I see is a glare. And... You know, it has these type of sleeves that I cut because I get rid of that curtain tie. <laughs> and and this one doesn't have any smocking, I don't think, in the in the front. So I'm going to like that. I like the colors. Looks like fucking caramel or something. And um, just, yeah, love it. Okay, so I got two shirts for $2.75. That one was $1.46 and this one was $0.96. Cents. And this is because I needed a tank. I have a couple tanks, but uh, the one that I wanted last night didn't work for me. I have a gauze shirt that I bought, I don't know, maybe two months ago, but you know, toward the beginning of my videos, uh, my try-on videos, and it was tight, and now it fits, and I loved it, but I have a black bra, and it's a sheer white and I didn't want just a neutral bra. I would like something like uh, a tank top. Um, and right now, the fabric is very sheer. You know, it's not, it's not really loose, but you know, it, it shows like a little bit of back fat. <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want that roll of back fat touching the gauze fabric. 
So I want a tank top, um, and I put a tank top under it, but the tank top had a really high neck, and I don't want that. Um, this one has a V-neck, and I might even cut it down some more. And it's, I'm sure, big. I didn't bother to try anything on today because the, the dressing rooms were packed. I can easily take this in on both sides to make it tight enough to maybe take care of the back fat, <laughs> the, the back fat roll. So that's, that's what I got. Two, two shirts, well a shirt and a tank, and that's it. And that will go in the collection of shirts for the next try-on. Actually, the next try-on will be shirts that were too small for me that we'll see if they now fit. And I just need to feel better for all that. It's a, it's a big day of recording when I do those videos, so I wanna, I wanna feel up to par. Okay, okay, bye.